2020 is a leap year. To understand the reason for the extra day, Dr. Kelly Herbst with the Virginia Living Museum and Newport News says you need to understand how the modern calendar came to be. And what they did is they watched things in the sky. And there were two different types of calendars that different people used around the world. What you end up with is the lunar month of 30 days, but a solar year of 365 days. But 12 lunar months only adds up to 360 days. Well, that's not quite a solar year. So your lunar calendars and your solar calendars would get out of sync. In those days, the year would start on the spring equinox, but both of those systems resulted in spring eventually starting in a different season. They knew that something wasn't right about this, and it was actually Julius Caesar who finally got us a calendar that almost kind of worked. The new calendar alternated between 30 and 31 day months, but that still doesn't end up with 365 days. So Julius Caesar said, let's chop a day off of February. But a solar year is more like 365.25 days. So Caesar instituted a leap day at the end of February every four years. That's still not the current calendar though. Augustus Caesar, who like Julius, had a whole month named after him, made another change. Augustus made August a 31-day month and took another day from February. Augustus said, uh-uh, I'm not having a shorter month than Julius Caesar, give me another day. So they put 31 days in August and took another day away from February. And that's how we get to our modern leap year.